Welcome back everybody. This morning I went to an estate sale and picked up these two two boxes. I've got a three drawer Craftsman Rally box and then a Craftsman Machinist box. The Machinist was 35, Craftsman Rally was 25. And they have some miscellaneous tools in that I thought, thought we could just look through quick. Got some miscellaneous padlocks here. Stainless steel lubricant. Uh, it looks like we have a nail clipper and a tweezers. Looks like some sort of a circuit tester. Some miscellaneous clamps that I'm not sure what they went to. And we got some more of the uh, stainless steel door lubricant. This drawer here we have a Craftsman 10 millimeter, an Armstrong, little angled, probably like an ignition wrench. We got a, a few more Craftsman ignition wrenches in there. Not really sure what these are. They all look like to be the same size, so I'm not sure what those are. If you know, feel free to drop it in the comments. And then one more wrench in here is just an Allen USA, though. This looks like a box cutter, a utility knife, old Craftsman brand. Here's some more of those unknown tools. <laughs> There's about nine of these in here, so I'm not sure just what those are. Looks like a air chisel, little point, driving out bolts and whatever. We got a chuck. It is a Jacobs multi-craft chuck with the key, which is always nice. One of them tools for putting in the window screen trim or molding. I believe all of these are, I don't know if you want to call them wet stones or sharpening stones. These are like domed and then they come to a narrow point. I'm not sure I've ever seen one like that. So there's two like that, and the rest are rectangle shape. This one is a Norton brand. I don't believe I saw markings on any of the other ones. Here we have a Stanley. I believe they call this a... I'm not sure if this is called like a bi-level square or something like that. Right off the bat, I'm not seeing a number on it. Usually Stanley has a number on everything. Oh, there it is on the blade. I'm not sure you can pick that up, number 25. I found this one kind of interesting. I've never heard of this brand before. Brownells out of Montezuma, Iowa. It says it's a distributor to the professional sporting goods trade. I apologize for the grass cutting in the background <laughs> if it gets too annoying I'll, I'll probably just do a voiceover but um yeah i'm not i've never heard of this so i don't know if this is like an outdoor brand or if it's a tool brand so inside here is a, a tool kit a hex bit driver now this driver looks just like an sk i should look up that patent number and we'll see if it comes back to sk and maybe they rebranded this, but the set looks like it's brand new. Well, I mean, maybe not brand new, but obviously you can tell there's not much use. And then it came with this stubby. And that looks like a completely different manufacturer than the green one. I don't see any sort of markings on it. 
And then of course it came with the, uh, the different bits. So we got some silver seal radiator sealer. I mean, no intentions to ever use this, but the the advertising is cool. The the graphics, it's in great shape yet. I'm not sure what this is. It almost has like a carb, almost has like a carbide tooth on the end, but I'm not sure what it's for. You got a little clipper here, a little diagonal cutter. Let's see here. Looks like Exolite. See if that'll focus in on there. Exolite brand. Old school stapler. Little scraper. Not sure what any of, any of these are, but that almost looks like a little weight for one of those scales that you, you set the weights on. Yeah, not sure what these are either, but but I own them. <laughs> a couple little knives. I have like a razor blade in them. I'm guessing there's some sort of old box cutter. Need a little pulley. A couple more box cutters. Handy cutter, Butler, Wisconsin. And then we got some some door lock trim on some old doors. Got a little uh, what is this? Forged. Oh, it's a little Craftsman four inch. Last drawer here. Looks like we got some files, some socket rails, pouch with these Craftsman screwdriver tips. Wonder if those go to automatic screwdrivers. Wonder if those go to those screwdrivers that you like push down and they and they spin as you push them. So that's it for box number one. Now box number two does actually have the door that sits up over the rest of the drawers. I currently own like three machinist boxes and they come up to right about and they come up to right about there. This one's got like an extra eight, ten inches on it. I'm not sure I've seen one quite this wide. And the top here is definitely some uh, evidence that a few critters were living in here. A few other snacks. I also have the sharpening stone. Old craftsman wrench rack, wrench holder organizer. And Destro flat tip screwdriver. Well, just some hex Allen wrenches. Got a little needle nose here. Let's see. Crescent USA before they went overseas. Uh, let's see here, we have what looks to be like some collets that are maybe not in the best shape. I think that's what those are. Feel free to correct me. Look, they look like they're a little banged up though. And I believe this is like a countersink or deburring or deburring a hole. Go to the center here. Some sanding drums for a drill press. I've got no idea on this one. Same with this. I, I don't know what these are. It looks like something you would have chucked into a drill. I don't think they're there to hold the sanding drums because that you would just chuck in by itself. So, yeah, that one's got me puzzled. It's got a little set screw there, so it's made to hold something, obviously. A 
We've got some little rods in here, but it looks like they served a purpose at one time. We got an Ashcroft thickness gauge. I'm guessing that would be for sheet metal thickness. That might come in handy if it works. Let's see, we just got a handful of taps in here. That one says Greenfield, so maybe they're all Greenfield. That's a pretty good brand. Last of the small drawers here. Got a couple of reamers. Looks like the mice might have made it down into this drawer. They probably made it through the whole box. They can get in some pretty small areas. This was definitely the money drawer. It has plenty of the, uh, the little dryers in here. That's good. Here we have a Sterrett number 124. I believe this would be for a depth gauge. Um, I believe that's what that's for. And then we got these like inner diameter, usually on like a cylinder. Uh, these are, well at least this one is a Michitoyu. Uh, this one says Michitoyu. This one does. And this so looks like the whole set is Michitoyu. Piece of a steel rule. Another random piece. I feel like I've seen one of these before, but I'm not sure what it is. It says stare it. Number 22. Not sure you can pick that up. So it'll be easy enough to look up what it's for, but just by looking at it, I'm not sure. Here we have a brown and sharp micrometer. This looks like to be a one to two. A little smaller one here, another brown and sharp. This is a zero to one M. This is a zero to one brown and sharp. I would say this is likely two to three. Another brown and sharp. And I would assume a three to four brown and sharp. So all the tools in here are high quality machinist tools. I think that was definitely worth buying the entire box for. And the last drawer here. Got a little companion hex wrench set. I think companion was a Sears brand. There's a little clamp uh, Cincinnati tool number 54, Super Junior. Not sure what this rod is for. Got a few rods in here that I'm not sure what they're for what not sure what they're from there's, there's a handful of rods in here that I'm just not sure what they're from or what they're for I don't see any sort of markings on them got a little thread cleaning tool a new thread by I believe this says jaw manufacturing out of reading Pennsylvania And then the last thing in here is whatever's in here. And this is a Craftsman 4021. I've seen this tool before, but I can't remember what it's for. I'm sure I could look it up and I'll know by the time I edit this video. Kind of a neat little case that it was in. So those are the two finds of the day. $60 for the pair. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you on the next one.